Ah, there we are. Hello? Trilla, can you see me? Hi, my name is Mike McCrory. Some people affectionately call me Mental Mike, and I am the Director of Mental Skills for the Dallas Fuel. So someone who works in mental skills is someone who serves as a resource for players uh, and individuals uh, to help them build a proactive skill set. Uh, we're focusing on uh, skills or techniques uh, that can help someone enhance their performance in the moment uh, in esports and especially in a game like Overwatch. In the Overwatch League, uh, there's some very high pressure, uh, stressful moments in the game and having the skills to rely on in those moments uh, can certainly benefit one uh, when they find themselves in these high pressure situations. So we're working on skill building um, and then we're also uh, serving the role as sort of an outlet, um, someone that the players can kind of come to talk to uh, and discuss sort of the minor things that are happening in life and these little stressors that they're experiencing. I was obsessed with video games as a young child and I begged for many years uh, to my parents, could they please help me get a console? I wanted an N64. And by the time they finally agreed that I could have a video game console, uh, N64s were out of style, so I got a GameCube. I mean, I loved Smash, loved Melee, loved Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Mario Sunshine. 007 Nightfire was pretty sick. I was a big James Bond fan growing up, so I became a, became a huge fan of that. As far as getting into the psychology aspect of this, that didn't happen until I was in college. I went to TCU and I was a walk-on onto the football team uh, and I was playing offensive line there and I was looking for what uh, sounded like an interesting career. At TCU, they have an undergrad program for sports psychology. Being a, a football player, going through that experience of playing at TCU, I was interested in how you know sports psychology could apply to my playing career. And that's what really got me into, you know, where does the psychological aspect of sport and performance uh, affect someone on an individual level and affect how a team can play. To be, yeah, to be honest, I'd never truly, you know, expected to find myself in esports. What's the saying? Uh, opportunity is when hard work and luck meet, you know? So I was certainly very fortunate and lucky that as I was finishing my master's degree, the Dallas Mavericks uh, opened up a position for a mental skills coach. I ended up working at the Mavs for about two years, and how that really got me involved with esports was that a huge portion of the job's responsibilities was working with the Dallas Mavericks newly acquired NBA 2K team, Mavs Gaming. So I was around esports a lot and around gamers all the time. And then transitioning over to Envy and being part of the NV Fuel Empire teams. It started with Hasher was looking for someone to sort of fulfill this role. And he kind of found me and got in touch with me. Uh, we had a few conversations about what the position would look like. He was like, do you know video games? And I was like, I play them all the time, you know? It just was a really good fit. We get along really well. I, I really admire Hastro and what he's doing here. and. It just made, it made so much sense, honestly. But when he offered me the opportunity to come over to MVM Fuel, I really didn't hesitate, to be honest. The difference between traditional professional sports and professional esports, there's certainly a lot that we can see and there's a lot in the physical sense. Uh, but in the mental sense, I really don't think that there's that much. If we were to take both things down to their core, professional basketball and professional esports are both a task uh, where an individual you know, is pushing themselves to the limits of what they're capable of. So the skills that would assist one on that journey are kind of the same for both. And where it's different is down on the individual level. Like what, is the pre what does the pressure mean to this person? Or what is the source of the pressure of that person? Uh, so getting down on an individual level, you see certainly the differences, but the skills that you would teach to a professional basketball player are often some of the same skills that you would teach to a professional esports player. Uh, you know, I think a common thing you're going to see in esports is just this stress 
there is something missing from esports that exists in traditional sports, and that's uh, if you were to consider baseball, for example, you're going to likely play on youth league teams, you know, T-ball, coach pitch, Colt league, and it, it continues to progress through high school and college. And esports bypasses this entire development process and just almost places you at the professional level. Oftentimes straight from, you know, the comfort of your home to, you know, the biggest stage of a grand finals. And that's a really big transition to experience almost, you know, overnight uh, without having gone through the trials and the experiences that you see in other sports that, you know, condition you to the pressure that exists in, in games. There's rewards, there's money on the line. Uh, so it's, the stress is, is always present. And it's just a question of, you know, how are you coping with it? How are you dealing with it? Consider in a game of Overwatch, you can play up to five different maps within a match. So you're considering, you know, there's all these individualized scenarios where you have to be ready to perform in that moment. You know, so it's round one of a cough map, it doesn't go well. Like, it just happens. What are you gonna do in round two? Are you going to continue to lament what happened in the first one? Are you gonna keep focusing on how the last part didn't go well? Or are you gonna be able to reset yourself and focus on what's happening right now? You know, when it comes down to peak performance and the peak performance mindset, you know, it's really about being able to focus on the task at hand, you know, what's happening right now, regardless of the circumstances and the things happening around you. So a lot of a lot of struggles with being professional, especially in a game like Overwatch, is um, there's a lot of like problem solving, and a lot of a lot of like walls that you run into where it's just like you kind of get frustrated, things aren't working out well, and you need to like find a way around it, and like you need to do that as a team. You can't do it by yourself and stuff like that. So, so if I have like issues with like certain things not going the way I would want them to, or like I'm kind of just like in my own head and being frustrated, like I can go talk to Mike about it. He brings it like all, like he does it all for you. Like he will tell you like what the best thing is and what he thinks you should do sort of stuff. And like, and kind of just like venting as well. Like that always helps like anyone with any problem really. So like he's also somewhere there just to like, just to listen and talk to. I've always been interested in listening to people and helping people. Before I was a sports psychology major, I was uh, actually a, a math education major. I wanted to be a math teacher and coach high school football. Uh, so there was always this part of me that wanted to coach, that wanted to teach, uh, and wanted to try to pass along information to other people or, or people younger than me to try to help them, you know, do things better than I had done. I wanted to help improve other people. And so that was definitely always there, uh, wanting to assist others. I think for the future of like esports, like uh, mentals coach is honestly really, really good, especially going forward. I think people are like underrating it a lot. And like, obviously we've, I haven't had him before and recently we've had him. So I've seen the differences that he brings. So like, I think, like everyone's like more open and willing to talk now. Like I feel like people aren't as afraid as much and like are more more open to voicing their opinions and stuff like that. I think he's like made the team more open and like honestly like I think our teamwork and stuff like that has been better than it ever has been for a long time. My goal is for it to be something that people are comfortable with and someone that people think that it's okay to go up to this person and have a have a casual conversation about what you did over the weekend, but also be someone that you feel comfortable going to with something that might be uh, private. Uh, it might be a little bit sensitive or even difficult to talk about with others, you know, because that's what I'm here for. From my perspective, uh, the team's been really welcoming, you know, and, and it's, it's on them to allow me, you know, to come in and do my job with them. Uh, it, it certainly can't be forced. Do they seem like happier overall since you've come? I like to think so. <laughs> uh, Mike, I go practice now, so I gotta go back to the team. But it was uh, great talking to you, it's good to see you.